Hello beautiful Virgo, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles, my name is Rosa and I'm here to bring you your love read for the week. Uh, in this reading here today we're going to take a look at your energy, the energy of your person, we're going to expand on that using the tarot and then towards the end of this reading uh, Virgo we're going to grab a couple of Oracle cards uh, for some extra special messages regarding this, um, this reading here today. All right, so as always, Virgo, this is a general reading. Take what speaks for you, leave what doesn't. Should you find that the messages are speaking to your current situation, if you're getting value out of this reading, then be sure to show your support. The best way you can do that, Virgo, is by liking, sharing, and subscribing. There is also a new special feature button called the Super Thanks button. If you feel called to make some kind of a donation, you can utilize or use this special feature. But otherwise, let's dive on in Virgo. For those of you who are new to my channel or just unaware, I have my Mars in Virgo. My mum's a Virgo, my daughter's a Virgo, I've got some beautiful friends that are Virgos and I just, I love Virgo. Uh, apparently um, Virgo is meant to be my good match in love and relationship, he's supposed to be my best match, so interesting. Let me know if you're a Virgo dealing with a Cancerian or um, romantically involved with a Cancerian, I'd like to hear from you. Let me know what you think of that dynamic. All right, so Virgo, how is Virgo coming through this week in love and relationship? Oh, you've got two cards. Okay, they wanted to come through. You've got the swan and the tiger spirit coming through here, Virgo. Swan and tiger spirit, okay. All right, we've got water and fire. Water and fire. Water and fire, Virgo. Let's take a look at the energy of your person, shall we? They're coming through as the panther. You might be connecting to a fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Okay, so what I'm sensing here, Virgo, is there's kind of like this um, push and pull within you. Okay, there's a push and a pull on how you feel towards this person or how you feel towards the situation this week. On one hand, Virgo, I feel like you're kind of holding back or you're trying to remain detached Okay, and then there's another part of you that is kind of leaning in and wants to follow where your passion is taking you. I do feel that you're attracted to this person, but at the same time, something is pulling you back or just keeping you at arm's length or you're keeping this person at arm's length, I feel. Yeah, there's something here that's telling me here that your intuition is telling you to sort of be wary, be cautious, okay? Um, it might have been something that this person said. I feel like they've come through maybe on the defense or on the attack. I feel like this person overreacted or reacted. And I feel like at this point, Virgo, you might be looking at this person going, mm, I'm not really sure about that. I'm not sure... Yeah, I feel like maybe you've sort of judged this person, um, but I feel like it's probably to your benefit. This person, I feel like they could be jealous by nature. I'm looking at the green eyes here, so it could be a case of jealousy. Okay, maybe this person overreacted due to their own insecurities and jealousies at this time and you're just like mm, i'm not sure about that okay we've got the sea serpent here yeah i feel like this person allowed their emotions to get the better of them here and i feel like that emotion is jealousy it stems from jealousy i feel like they read too much into the situation okay they got in their own head here with the sea serpent could be your committed partner But there's something about this person's emotions, okay? They've allowed their emotions to get the better of them. And as a result, you've kind of like pulled back, Virgo, because you're not sure, okay? You're just not sure 
if you like this type of character or if you yeah you're just not sure i i just see you pulling back in a big way but at the same time there's a part of you that is curious because of the attraction that you feel so let's expand on this all right it's a bit of a weird energy but let's expand okay you've got the six of wands the eight of cups The Seven of Cups. That's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, right. See, I'm getting like some part of you wants to achieve something here with this person. Six of Wands. Victory. The card of victory. The card of success. On some level, you would like this to be a successful relationship. Okay, but the other side of you is telling you, I don't know about this. Um, I'm not really liking what I see. I'm not really liking how this is making me feel. I think I should walk away. Maybe it's happened one too many times, Virgo. Maybe it's happened one too many times. Now, the Seven of Cups to me is kind of like the card of illusion. Okay, I feel like you would like this ultimately to work out because at some point this felt magical. This connection, this relationship felt magical, but now you're like, mm, the rose tinted glasses are coming off and that's, com that's coming through the tiger because your intuition is really... Um, it's clicked on. You're really plugged into your intuition and your instincts. And you're starting to see through the rose tinted glasses. All that glitters isn't gold. And I feel like that's what you're starting to see, Virgo. Okay. All, all that glitters isn't gold. So let's take a look at this person's energy okay they've got the wheel of fortune wheel of fortune the lovers gemini energy could be connecting to a gemini here and we've got the moon the moon cancer pisces energy okay cancer pisces energy so this person feels destined to be a part of your life. They feel that you are destined to come into their life. They feel that they're destined to meet you or be with you with the lover's card. Okay. Um, this person has a strong pull to you, a strong chemistry here with you. But at the same time, this connection is blocked or feels blocked, or things are not moving forward due to their behavior. Okay, I feel like the moon here is speaking to their shadow side. Okay, there's a shadow side to this person that I feel, um, I want to say that overpowers them, and I feel like that shadowy energy is maybe jealousy, or strong insecurities and that stems from fear that stems ultimately from fear and that's what the moon is speaking to i do have to say that this person has strong feelings for you but at, but at this point virgo i feel it's coming from an unhealthy place yeah this it comes from an unhealthy place so Let's grab some oracle cards for you, shall we, to sort of expand on this. It's sort of like, too, with the moon. I feel like this person tries to suppress their true feelings, but they can't. I mean, there's three major arcana cards here coming in this person's energy. So I feel like however they're coming through this week, it's destined and it's fated. 
Could be a major lesson for this person as well. Could be something that they need to work through if it's if it's their own insecurities and fears. But at the same time, I feel like it's it's a it's a major lesson or a major turning point in their life. Okay, we've got codependency. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I do feel that this person has strong codependent issues. Okay, it's, it's unhealthy. It's that unhealthy attachment um, that they have formed here. And it is affecting your relationship this week. I feel like you're starting to see that. And Virgo, you might be like, mm, I'm not sure if I want this kind of dynamic. And I'm not sure if I want to be a part of that kind of dynamic. Let's grab another card for you here. We have, there is nothing, <laughs> there is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. I feel like uh, when it comes to this person or this situation, Virgo, you really just need to get honest with yourself. Okay, get honest with yourself or maybe even have the confidence or the courage here with the tiger to speak up about how you feel. Okay, kind of let this person you know, you know, hey, this wasn't cool. It's not called for. I'm ready to walk. Eight of cups. Or it could be here just speaking your truth. Letting this person know instead of holding back your emotions, okay? Instead of being afraid to really, you know, tap into your feelings, feel into your feelings. Let your feelings guide you. And then speak truth about how this situation or this person is making you feel. Because in doing that, you are, you are able then to work towards your two of cups, because in the Eight of Cups, we have Eight of Cups here. And all those Eight Cups are broken. Okay? But we can work towards the Two of Cups when you do tap in and you get honest with yourself. And get honest with the person that you're dealing with, right? So there you have it, Virgo. That's your reading. I do hope that was insightful and helpful in some way. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if it resonated. And until next time, take care. Bye, Virgo.